Thank you, Olivier. So I'm uh, Andrea Riposati, co-founder and CEO of Dante Labs. And as Dante Labs, we are the whole genome sequencing data company. But why all genome sequencing? So before talking about Dante Labs, I would like to talk about Johannes. Johannes is a gentleman from Wales, age 50. He was born with several genetic diseases. And since the age of five, these diseases started manifesting themselves. And since the age of five, for 45 years, he had a very traditional approach to healthcare. He got sick and he went to the doctor. And the doctor would give him some medications, but the doctors were never able to diagnose precisely his diseases. Johannes needed help. Johannes found Dante Labs. We gave Johannes and his doctor the whole genome sequencing report and data, including reports on all his pathogenic variants and a pharmacogenomic report on uh, reaction to medications and dosages. And so finally, after 45 years, his doctor was able to diagnose precisely Johannes' disease and was also able to identify a treatment that is working with the right dosage thanks to the pharmacogenomic report built on the whole genome sequencing. And so for the first time after many years, Johannes is now finally able to live a normal life. So as Dante Labs, we are the global whole genome data company. We have offices in New York and L'Aquila. As announced today by Genome Web, we are launching and we are opening a new sequencing center in L'Aquila, Italy, Eastern Rome, which will be 900 square meters and fully automated, which is already, and that was one of the key accomplishments for us in 2019, a nanopore certified sequencing center for DNA sequencing. It was also a very hard accomplishment, and I know some people in the company, they don't look forward to get the recertification next year, but I'm very happy we did. And we are also the first company that launched a commercially available whole genome sequencing based on long reads, of course based on Oxford Nanopore technology. We launched it in April, has an average coverage of 30x, guaranteed 90 gigabases of data. On average, people are getting between 95 and 120 gigabases. And it runs on the Prometheum. It's based on saliva, and we ship the saliva collection kits all over the world for free, free shipping everywhere. Actually, I think the fourth or the fifth order of long reads whole genome sequencing was by a person in the island of French Polynesia. Uh, shipping was expensive, but we were very happy to bring the newest technology in sequencing in the, to the middle of the Pacific Ocean at the same cost and with the same speed of someone living in London or living in Rome. And we are using the Prometheon to run our whole genome sequencing samples. We started with one sample at a time, then we slowly increased. Now we're doing about 15, and as soon as we receive the new Prometheon with 48 flow cells, which is very slick and I really like the design, we'll do 48 samples at a time. And in this respect, I would like to thank the Oxford Nanopore technical team for their support and for helping us to really increase the output of each run on the sequencing machine. Now, the, something that I really like about the Nanopore Prometheon, uh, not having uh, a genetics background, are the charts that show the progress in terms of quality. And you will see that the charts become better and better every time you do a run, so that the quality of the runs become better and better, the amount of data becomes better and better, and it's very satisfying to see the little pores producing a lot of useful genetic, genetic data. Now, what happens is that during the long reads, uh, whole genome sequencing, the length of the reads are, cru are crucial for the quality of the whole genome sequencing. Uh, and that is very important for us because by using saliva, we have different, different read lengths and really the read lengths are all over the place. And that's because people spit saliva from different countries, they have different diets, uh, the saliva collection kits, the travel on different couriers, on the back of vans, on, on the back of airplanes. Uh, also some people don't follow the instructions, so they smoke right before spitting the saliva in, in the tubes. Uh, but the reality is that, so it's, it's a bit of, it was and it still is a little bit more challenging to do long read whole genome sequencing. Uh, and so we developed special saliva collection kits 
special DNA extraction protocols. Uh, we have new protocols also for library preparation. And, but we see that the results in terms of output, not just in terms of number of quantity of data, but really the results in terms of the quality of the data and what the messages that we can give to the people are really stunning. And this is the really the cover, well, actually the second page of our new long reads WGS report. And in one single image shows the large structural variants. So in this case, we have at least like five large variants that cannot be seen with a short reads whole genome sequencing. So this is a person's whole genome sequencing. This is long reads. We ran the same report with the same person data run on a short reads. And the report look like this image look completely different. And Tools like this one, I think they would be great to really bring the long read WGS to people, even people without a technical background. But then what's next? Uh, this is just about one person, one report. What we want to do is also do a lot of people, like sequence a lot of people, and generate not just a lot of reports, but create GWAS studies. So last year in 2018, we did a GWAS study on periodic paralysis, which is a rare disease with about an incidence of one person out of 100,000. And this was done last year, so this is like short read data. Uh, but periodic paralysis is a very rare disease, and we were able to recruit 84 people in less than a year. So what we are doing these people, that what we are doing this year is that we are stepping up the game. So we launched a 1,000 people epilepsy WGS study, uh, run on long reads, long run on nanopore, where first of all, the number of people is much larger. And then we are accepting applications, again, from all over the world. And people are giving us also their diagnosis so that then we can run a GWAS study on both phenotypes and genotypes. So if you have friends really all over the world who have epilepsy, or if you know doctors all over the world who have epilepsy, feel free to send them our way, because we'll be happy to provide a free WGS to these people. And, and then, you know, what's next? I think something very interesting will also be to do uh, a new, to really create a new reference genome. Uh, today, we're still using a reference genome created with technologies and machines that were the newest machines many years ago. And this reference genome is biased on, first of all, the selection of the patients or the people, because it's mainly like white males uh, coming from Western countries. And then number two is also biased on the section of the DNA that we are reading, because we are still missing a, a some sections of the DNA in the reference genome because we use short reads. But so today we really have the opportunity to create a new reference genome, leverage long reads, and to run GWAS studies on CNVs and SVs, so really to advance the understanding of genomics and the data analysis on genomics, uh, not just for us or for a single patient, but really for the entire community. And as Dante Labs, uh, today I spoke especially about people with a disease and the importance of doing whole genome study, uh, whole genome sequencing for people with a disease. Uh, but I personally did my WGS, both short reads and long reads, and I found some practical uh, benefits. But now I want to tell you another story, uh, a story about Angela. She was uh, a, a Dante Labs customer in 2018. So she did her WGS last year just out of curiosity. She was apparently healthy, but very tech savvy and very curious about her health. And then just a few weeks ago, she was diagnosed with breast cancer. And luckily she had her whole genome sequencing. So she went back to her whole genome and she took her pharmacogenomic report to her doctor. And the three chemotherapy drugs that her doctor was suggesting or was considering were all three of them listed in her um, pharmacogenomic report. For one, she has adverse reaction, so the doctor could exclude her. The other two, she, has, uh, she is a high metabolizer and a slow metabolizer, so the doctor could identify the right dosage for this drug. So in this case, this is an uh, absolutely healthy person, and she did her whole genome sequencing in a time where she was not suspecting of becoming ill, but then when she needed it, it was there, and it really changed her life and it really changed the potential, it really eliminated potential negative effects that the chemotherapy could have on her body. And so as Dante Labs, what we like to say is that we don't work alone. Uh, we, first of all, if you come to Italy, uh, please come and visit us. Let us know just a couple of days before. 
And then also we like to work with academics. We believe that private sector and public sector should work together. Uh, we sequence a lot of people. We doing like thousands of people. And um, we don't have all the time to write all the papers that we would like to write. But we, will, we like to partner with universities, uh, especially universities in Europe, to write papers. And we're happy also to try and uh, use new technologies. And we're also happy to give you a little discount today. So I think these days everyone has been using the NanoporeConf hashtag a lot. At least I did. Uh, so we decided to create both uh, a NanoPore tech and a NanoporeConf uh, discounts for the next two weeks for people coming at the conference or your friends so that you can get to 20% off on your long reads, all genome sequencing. But behind the discounts, really, like we're very happy to collaborate. We're happy to invent like new sequencing, like try 50x or you know, try something crazy. So we're also very open to collaboration and not just looking at the benefit in the short term, not, not really looking at making money out of every project, but really looking at creating knowledge, also creating expertise with us. Thank you for the opportunity to be here today, and thank you. And if you have any questions, let me know.